Stephanie Izzard is one of Chicago's busiest and most high profile chefs, and she recently added a new restaurant to her portfolio. It's more Peruvian inspired, and the Hungry Hound says it's part of a new rooftop just a few blocks from her other projects. Here's Steve Delinsky now with his Saturday Night Sampler. A warm breeze from Peru is how Cabra makes its presence known. Located on the roof of the brand new Hoxton Hotel in the West Loop, the large windows help to illuminate some of the brightest, freshest dishes in the already oversaturated neighborhood. So I kind of think of this restaurant as one that is inspired mostly by being in the city of Lima. So a lot of coastal fare, but really celebrating all of the fish. Five tiraditos, inspired by the Nikkei, or Japanese influence in Lima, offer sliced fish like hamachi with Marcona almond slivers and smoked trout roe. But ceviches are where cabra excels. The classic begins with sweet potatoes and bass that's lightly salted, then crunchy corn nuts, fresh shallots, and cilantro. A very different assembly than ceviches from Mexico. The fish isn't sitting in lime juice and actually cooking before it goes out. It goes out fresh. We just toss in a little bit of salt, let it marinate for a minute, and pour a leche right over the top. So it's just marinating it before it goes to the table. Leche de tigre is essentially the marinating liquid, plus fresh lime, chilies, and fish scraps. But we're blending these fresh leches all night, so you really get like the ice cold leche with the ice, the bits of fish in it, and all the different lime juice and flavors. Izard says be sure to use a spoon. All of the liquid, all of the broth, all of the leche that's in the bowl, that is like the best part of the dish and the fish is a garnish in my mind. There are also lots of potatoes on the menu since Peru is home to several thousand varieties. Here she offers a causa or cold whipped potato. So they're whipped with olive oil and a little bit of lime juice and when it's chilled it's absolutely delicious. Surrounded by a green chili sauce, large pieces of crab are dressed in a lime mayo, which is in turn used to top a fresh avocado fanned out over the potatoes. Garnishes include pickled aji amarillos, pickled green mangoes, red onions, and some crispy tempura flakes for contrasting crunch. Among larger plates, the taku taku is a deeply satisfying plate of tamarind inflected shrimp. Yeah, we're using Japanese sticky rice um, and putting in some beans and then cooking that on one side. So one side's crispy, the other side stays nice and sticky. The sauce around it is a tamarind shrimp sauce, sauteed shrimp, and then a yuzu tomato vinaigrette over the top. Drinks are plentiful, ripped right from the Lima playbook. Pisco Sours may be the most famous, with their frothy egg whites shaken along with fresh lime and pisco, the dots of bitters as garnish. But the real gems reside among the Chilcanos, lighter, brighter, and full of flavor, like the Alpaca My Bags, featuring gin, banana, coconut, lime, and ginger ale. There's a lot of lime juice that we go through. Um, really bright, lots of great texture. Even in the winter when you're up here, you can feel a little bit of sunshine in the food. It's gonna feel like summer all the time up here. And the thing I love most about Peruvian inspired food is all the citrus. Lots of bright notes in this food, including the drinks with lots of lime juice. Great for summer sipping. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.